New England Gardening here. Today's Saturday, February 2nd, 2013. And I'm going to take a look at the progress, the, the remaining cuttings that I still have in the bins with the sphagnum moss. Just to show you that, uh, you know, different varieties, different cuttings, they, they have their own schedule. They're not all the same. You're not going to get all the same results at the same time. Uh, here's Zingarella. And uh, it's starting to get... I don't know, it looks like there's some some of the white dots starting to form where you get the root initials but no really um, no roots, no starts on the roots, it still looks like it's, it's waking up it's a lot of time so let's go back up onto the fridge uh, long, to, long, to, long to out I think, is that how you spell it? long of August Long to out. I think that's how you pronounce that. Um, here's some of the strange things you'll see on cuttings. You can see this cutting here is trying to produce a fig. And I do have some root initials starting. So that's enough for me to put it into soil. Uh, initially, <clears throat> when I first started uh, trying to root cuttings. I, I wrapped them in towels or a newspaper and I'd wait too long and the roots would grow into the newspaper or the towel and I try to pick out the roots. They're just so fragile I'd break them. So I sort of like uh, this idea of getting them started into a soil mix as quickly as possible, less transitioning, uh, less likely to break any roots. And this this one here has some nice roots on it. So um, that'll be going into soil mix today. It looks like all three. There's enough uh, roots starting on these. And of course I'm going to break off the that little fig that's starting. That's energy going into that fig that could be going into growing opening up those buds and uh, growing roots. Here's a new variety with a nice name, McCool. So, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, this one here is uh, another unusual thing that can happen on a cutting is the roots don't grow exactly where you'd like them to grow. Uh, not in the best spot, so I'm not certain what uh, I'm going to do with this one. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, so here it is. And the problem is, I'm looking at the bud here. So this, where my fingers are, that's the top of the cutting. And I've got all this without roots. And there's one bud right there. So, I did cut some of these in half already, so now there's a bud right there on, on that side. So I was wondering if I should try to cut this in half again and give that a try. I mean, I've seen people rooting cuttings that look like they were about a half inch of uh, material. You know, with a bud and a root. So I might, I might do that. Uh, cut somewhere down here. Um, or maybe I should just, you know, I could break that off also, and just wait for roots to form. You know, on on the end here. So, I don't know. I'll think about that. So here's the soil mix with the uh, pine bark nuggets, uh, the sifted uh, pine bark nuggets. And, you know, the pine bark dust is almost a soil in its own right. But I'm sorry I don't have any proportions here. I'm just you know, just going by feel here, and you know, it's a nice area, nice light mixture. It's going to retain water. 
Uh, same idea with the perlite and the vermiculite, but I like this because you know it's got the soil and you don't have to do a transition. And it's going to allow for some air pockets and hopefully not uh, rot the, the cutting uh, while it's trying to to get uh, the roots and the and the leaves working together. So this is what it looks like. Gives you an idea of how loose of a material it is. So let's pot up these lunged out cuttings I've got here. All three of them. I think I'm going to hold off on the McCool. Maybe seek some advice on whether I should cut that or just wait for some roots to grow. Oh look at that, there's a centipede. Huh. So I've got the cups with the drainage holes on the bottom and some more holes on the side here. Pot these up. You can see the roots here. Well, these are just starting, but still, I think that's enough to put it into soil now. You can see how loose it is. It just you know, falls into the cup and falls around the roots. And here's the one with the fig. Little figlet starting. It's always interesting to see that the cutting will still try to produce fruit. And there's the extent of the roots on this one. And the fig. So I'm just going to break that off. Okay, so I'll water these in, label the cups, and hopefully I'll get new variety here by springtime. Lunged out, long of August. It's a long-necked fig, which I found interesting. So this is New England Gardening with three cuttings. Three new cuttings potted up. Thanks for watching.